Hello, this is Washboard Jim, and today I want to talk about a stock we played last week called CGIX. So, we called this out on the 20th on the earnings. We had a good pop on it, and I'm going to pull up the chart. This stock was called out by Vegas, CGIX at 280. Some will swing, some will scalp, but we're going to pull up the chart right now and take a good look at CGIX. This is the five day. This is the day we were talking about when we pulled this stock up. It was on the breakout. It came up on our trade idea scanner. And it was posted first thing in the morning. And the thing ran all the way up to about 7.45. And a big heavy wick with resistance right around 6.65. Where it decided to go ahead and have three pullbacks right here to that next day. And then gradually started creating a little higher lows which kind of gave it a bullish sediment, which was really kind of another ascending triangle right here. And that leads into what happened to us on Friday. So let's pull up the, the five day, five minute. We had that kind of build up. You could tell that the momentum was still there. Kind of pulled back for a couple of days throughout the week with a few pops and then started showing a little activity where it hit that resistance line right here. We had the previous high back there, so we're going to mark that down right around in there for that support level. Well, Friday came, and I'm going to magnify this up a little bit. You can see what I'm talking about. We had what you call right out a breakout off the 200 EMA. She bounced up and started creating higher lows. Then created a real little resistance up here right around the 745 area. 735 is where I have my triangle breakout. But actually, the wicks ran all the way up to 745, so that can become support. You notice we started having some decrease in volume as we started having some divergency in volume where it started going down, and then the higher lows kept going higher and started to squeeze. Well, here's the squeeze right here with a five dot squeeze, and then right when it hit that end mark right there where it couldn't go anymore, that's where we had the big breakout. It ran all the way up here to 894 with a high of 950 so if you were in that trade congratulations I'd be taking some profit so we've got a first support it's going to be right down here for Monday at 812 that's going to be your first little support area and that's got a hold if not it can pull back into this little channel right in here between 735 and 745 for the bounce back up the retracement bounce now, I do believe it'll pull back a little bit. This is a low floater. Let's see what we got on the low float here. I forgot exactly how much that float was, so we're going to see what it is. I think it's under $3 million. Yeah, the float is $1.76 million, so this is a low float stock. You notice I looked up Finviz, typed in the ticker. And it auto brought, automatically brought me right down here to the float size of 1.76. So I always cross-reference it with trade ideas to make sure it's an accurate reading. So let's go back to the chart. So we have that ascending triangle, which I would call strong resistance right here at 735. And your first support is going to be right here at 812. I'd like to see that 735, 730. 45 hold if not it can pull back to this other support level that I have right here at 665 and if you pull up the daily one minute This is a lot of times also how I use the moving averages. I got the 200 here at 763 Which is a moving average it can run around on us, but the 735 to 745 is my strong Second support and then you got your third one right down here. It could be a little lower where this triangle started right here, right around 644, but I'll be looking at 665 for my third support. That's got a hold. Then I got a 601 strong buy if we ever get down to that area right down there. 601, 604, somewhere in that area. In fact, I might just move this alert up just a little bit. Put it right there, right around 605. Replace that. So that's CGIX. What a great trade it was Friday it had momentum all day long created an ascending triangle most of the day if you were watching it and you caught the break congratulations we'll take it back to the five day five minute 
magnify it up and get one more little picture of it here. The ascending triangle, the slowing down in the volume means the buyers were in. And then we had the squeeze right here, the five dot squeeze, and she went ahead and had that big breakout. So congratulations. This is I Love Stocks, CGIX.